So today I'm gonna to give you a comprehensive diagnosis and fix uh, aux mini split, F1 curved. Um, online, there's quite a bit video talking about how to fix F1 curved, but this one will be comprehensive. Give you all the details about how to fix aux mini split, uh, F1 curved. So F1 curved basically is called a module protection mode. Uh, most of the time, you can actually fix it by shut down the power for a couple of minutes and turn it on, back on. I mean, the circuit breaker, you have to make sure circuit breaker completely turned off. That clears the computer code in the motherboard. Uh, this time, it happened that sometimes you can't simply just shut down the power and fix it. So how do you know that? So if you turn on the power again, the code still appear after a couple of minutes running, then you need to do a further diagnose. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. What you need is flat screwdriver and Phillips screwdriver. So first of all, what we need to do is to open the lid. The lid is removed. Then you need to open this. This is the motherboard of the outdoor unit. Okay. Most of the time, um, the first thing you should check is see if it's anything burned in the motherboard. In this case, you can see here, there's no burn mark at all. So, so most likely, it's not something to do with here. Now, what I'm gonna show you is to test the sensors. So this motherboard hook up, hook up two couple of things. One, as you can see, this is the uh, power module that feed into the compressor. Um, then there's actually two more sensors, uh, actually two more sensor hookup come from here. One, first one, so here is, actually this is the uh, compressor, uh, uh, hookup leading to the compressor. Now there's another sensor, not sensor, the power cord. It's this one, this is a fan motor, okay? Fan motor is there, fan motor is there. It's a DC 310 volt, um, and we're gonna me measure the ohm resistance. Also there's a three, um, sensor, this is the outdoor sensor, which is typically hooked up uh, here, okay? We're gonna measure that resistance. Also, down to the here, there's also probably called the temperature sensor, heating sensor from the copper pipe here, in the compressor line, okay? So hook up to here. Yeah, we're gonna measure the resistance. There's also another called the probably evaporator sensor down to the line. So. Um, I haven't seen one case this go bad, but we're gonna measure it so, so you know what the reading is. So we have multimeter here, we turn to the ohm. Okay, now what we're gonna do is first we're looking at the uh, the motor, the, the fan motor sensor, a uh, fan motor, so you will see, okay. So what we're gonna do is measure resistance so we know it's good or bad. So the typical reading should be something like uh, 50. See, 48, okay. We just measure all of those. See, 48, 49, okay. Um, this AC is brand new, so it'll never be used, okay. So when I fixed it, I use, take the motherboard and measure all those kind of same, make sure every, my old uh, mini split is all right. So now, we're gonna measure the resistance of the three sensors within the outdoor unit. The first one, as I said, this is the temperature sensor, outdoor temperature sensor. So we measure that. There's up a couple of video online showing you that uh, measure the resistance. So at a temperature of, I believe it's 20, 25, if you measure the two, the resistance of this. Oh, come on, here we go. As you can see now, temperature roughly about 25 degree here, um, or 80, uh, 75. So you're reading 17 kilo ohms. So anything reading between 10 to 20 should be normal, okay? Now we'll move down another sen uh, uh, sensor here. I think that's uh, hook up to the heat hot uh, uh, the pipe. 
measure about 24, 23.5 kilo ohm, okay? That typically should be good. The other one, I believe with the evaporator sensor down to the bottom of the thing, as you can see, 61. So the measure fluctuated between, uh, uh, since the, from the temperature. So any reading, I believe from 50 to 61, 62 should be all right. So all the sensor here is good, okay? So now, um, typically people tell you FY is a um, um, indoor, outdoor sensor. So as we can see, there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with the motherboard, okay? Now, there's one thing can go wrong there. So what I'm gonna do is to, so in this case, if still you show your F1 code, you need to come in down here to pop up the hood to see, to, to actually check in the compressor line, okay? I also has a, a, a manual, repair manual from Ox manufacturer that show you the um, uh, inspection steps, I mean, so first of all, we have to pop this hood first, 